What up, y'all? It's your boy Weep here in the house, back with another video gaming capture tutorial. This time, I'm going to be talking about the Hopage HD PVR Gaming Edition. Beautiful differences between this and the original HD PVR is this one comes with a set of component cables for your console. Beautiful things. You don't have to buy these things separate. They come in the box. They work for the PlayStation 3, they work for the Xbox 360, and they also work for the Wii. So all you Wii fanatics out there, you can now record with the HD PVR. Another update that Hopage has made is updated software. So now you can directly upload to YouTube. All you guys that aren't into video editing and just want to get your raw files up to YouTube, you can now do that through the video gaming capture software. Pretty neat. So let's take a look and see what we got in the box. Here's a new updated packaging. I have now upgraded to a Jedi Master. I have a green lightsaber versus a blue one. I'm pretty happy about that. Box you can pretty much disregard. I'm not going to do anything with it, but whatever. Comes with component cables. This is a beautiful thing. You had to buy these before if your console did not come with them. But now you have green, red, blue for video and red, white for audio. Also has a spot for the PlayStation, for the Wii, and for the Xbox 360. Good things. Also comes with a double-ended component cable. This is to go from the Hopage HD PVR Gaming Edition to your television to get 720p or 1080i video. Stick with the 720p. I'm telling you, it works great. You got the power cord. Yeah, it plugs into the wall. Good one. USB cord goes from the Hopage to the computer or to your laptop. Does work with laptops. Comes with different software. Like I said, you can upload the raw file directly to YouTube if you don't want to edit. If you guys are editing junkies like myself, you're going to want to edit. I use Sony Vegas 9.0C. I've heard of 10, I've heard of 11, I've heard they're pretty buggy. Stick with 9.0C, I'm telling you. Alright, so step number one in installing this thing. Take the USB cord, plug it into the back of the hop hog unit, and plug the other end into your computer or to your laptop. Then take the power plug, plug it into the hop hog, and plug it into the wall. After that, Windows is going to try to install drivers automatically. Cancel out of that and use the install CD that came with the Hopage. Step number one, you're going to want to install the drivers. That updates the latest driver to the Hopage unit. Step number two is install the software. This is the newest software that will allow you to update to YouTube or upload to YouTube directly without having to edit the files. Once the software is installed, next you want to take the component cable, console cables, plug them into the bottom row, color-coded in into the Hopage Gaming Edition. Take the other end, plug it into either your PlayStation 3, your Wii, or your Xbox 360. Take the double-ended component cables, they go into the top row color-coded into the Gaming Edition, and the other end goes into your TV. Color-coded again, obviously. Come over here, open up ArcSoft Showbiz, and you are going to see a wonderful picture. Obviously go to the capture mode, open this up, Go to format settings right off the bat. Right now we're on 8 megabytes per second. I'm going to boost that up to 13.5 because I'm a boss. Apply. That's going to give you the absolute best quality. I'm all about best quality. I could care less about um, gig size and all that stuff. I want the best quality on YouTube. So I'm going to go there. Click OK. It's going to refresh and you're going to get a nice screen of what is on your television. There's about a second delay so you can't really play on your computer or on the ArcSoft you'd have to go back to your TV to do this, but, you know, price got to pay. All right, on to the capture mode. Always, always, always capture on PlayStation 3 mode, even if you play Xbox 360, okay? Sony Vegas does not like the MP4 that the Xbox 360 mode makes. I don't know why. I'm not an expert on it, but it doesn't work. All you're going to get is the top left corner of the video. Do not use Xbox 360 mode. Use PlayStation 3, okay? Even if you play the Xbox 360. I said, up a folder. I'm playing FIFA 12, so blah blah blah. FIFA 12. Click capture. Let's get a little gameplay real quick. See if I can work some magic. Probably not. Nope, missed it. Shanked it like normal. All right, so stop. That was real quick, just to show you guys the capture mode. This video now goes into this folder. All right. So what I'm gonna do is X out of here. X out of here. Open up Sony Vegas. Going to find that goal, FIFA 12, here it is, boom, alright, so now, first off, right click, properties, disable resample, okay, it's going to clear things up, this top little event pan crop box, click that, make sure these two little boxes are ticked, left click the top corner, drag it in a little bit, it's going to get rid of those black lines, alright, so many videos on YouTube have those black lines, I can't understand why, alright, see this, you just get rid of it by taking it, boom, dragging it in a little bit, 
going. Okay. Now, next, video effects. I like to sharpen things up a little bit. I've got a preset here. It's called Light 100. You can go over to Reset to None. Just drag it in. Go over here. Type in 100. Click down here a little bit. Sharpens it up real nice. Okay. Now, video effects, another one I like to do sometimes, saturation adjust. You boost the midtones a little bit, it's going to make the colors a little bit more vibrant. Okay, that's another weed peeler secret. Otherwise, not too many. If you like a real high contrast, you can also go to soft contrast. Go to soft, moderate contrast, drag it in. It's going to screw things up a little bit, but if you take this stretch range, drag it over here. Take the diffusion, drag it over here. You get a nice real high contrast. It's a little darker, but it's a nice swift line. I like that. Um, so there's my epic shank. And uh, yeah, pretty much that's how you capture and edit in Sony Vegas. Best settings. I'm going to come up here, go to File, Render As. Right in here, I've got it set as WMV because that's what I'm doing as my tutorial. But main concept, AVC slash AAC MP4. Click that. Go to Custom. Over here, include video, custom frame size, 1280 by 720. Click this, go to main, 59.940000. Click that, allow source to adjust frame, none progressive scan, number of reference frames is 4. Use the deblocking filter, go to this constant bit rate, highlight it, 14, comma, 14 milli, okay? Click OK, click Save. Now, if you don't, I know everyone's saying, oh, it switches back to 192. Um, if you click save directly after it, it's going to render it in the highest quality picture you can possibly get. I should have uh, rendered this a lot shorter so I could at least show you what's going on. But this is going to render through. You're going to get a wicked HD quality video onto YouTube because that's how I roll and that's how I want you guys to roll. I'm going to cancel out just to shave some time. Upload that file, the MP4 I had saved in desktop. It would have been right here. Send it right in, right onto YouTube, and you're going to have some sick, sick quality. Hopefully that helped you guys. If you guys have any questions or you want me to do tutorials on something else, let me know. Here's some facts that I'd like to go over with you guys. Always, always, always capture in PlayStation 3 mode, even if you play Xbox 360. Also, HDMI cables still cannot be used directly with the Hophog HD PVR Gaming Edition. However, they do make an HD. HDMI to component converter. Then you can plug the HDMI cable into the component converter and then use the component cables with the HD PVR and your TV and your console. One more thing I want to go over is how to start things off in Sony Vegas. So open up file properties. This is what I start every program as when I want to edit something with the gaming edition video. So go to custom 1280 by 720, 59.940 frames per second, 1280 by 720 for width and height, none progressive scan for the field order, one square for the pixel aspect ratio, leave the output rotation zero, frame rate changes to 59.940, that's double NTSC, that's going to give you real smooth video, pixel format, 32-bit floating point, this gives you a myriad of colors, makes it look really pretty, composite and gamma, one linear, Full resolution rendering quality is best. Gaussian motion type blur and interpolate fields. For some reason, this makes everything nice and smooth. No motion blur. Uh, adjust source media to better match project. Tick that and click OK. If you want beforehand, click Start New Projects with these settings. Click Apply and then click OK. This is going to start all your projects the way you want to get the highest quality HD video onto YouTube. Uh, other than that, I don't really know what to go over. So if you guys have any questions, email me at wepeeler at AOL.com. It's the best way to reach me. Go straight to my phone if I'm not on the computer and I will respond within a day or two. I uh, hope you guys found this enjoyable and entertaining and informative. So hit me up if you have any questions. All right. Thanks, guys.